This video focuses on a client mistake where they'll be downloading their bank and credit card transactions and it shows as uncategorized because QBO has never seen it before. So what they'll do is they'll either add a new customer or tag the customer. Then they'll choose an income account, right? But we don't want to deposit it to income because the invoice took care of the income. So if they've done this and they go ahead and add it to the register, so then you'll find uh, a deposit to the register for that customer. And it's really easy to find it if you just go to customers and then drill in on the customer. You can filter for type all plus deposits. I think we added this several months ago, but this is very helpful. And then when you apply that, you know, you would see the deposit and you can even go to it and you realize, you know, it's going to a services income account, but you already have an invoice. And a lot of times when you actually look in the customer record, you'll see the deposit 55 in an open invoice. So you could receive the payment, go to the deposit, then remove the deposit line from that. But a better way, if they haven't cleared it yet or reconciled it, if you go to back to your bank and credit card window and go to the in QuickBooks and undo it, undo their adding this deposit to the register, it'll just take it out and then go back to new transactions. Now you'll see a match where the invoice will be matched to this deposit is essentially going to make it a payment and close the the AR if you will. So when I click match and then go back to customers and click in on Bessie, now we have, you know, the invoice that's paid and the payment, you know, shows is closed. So I just love that ability. Don't forget before you try and go to the deposit and delete things and enter other things, don't forget to go back to the online banking window and check the in QuickBooks so where you could actually undo it and then let QBO apply the match.